What is going on guys? Thanks for checking out another video for me here on YouTube. This one is gonna be slightly bittersweet and I got some explaining to do pertaining to it. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you obviously should at Dio, then um, you know I'm not riding and obviously I've said that in my videos, but I have some plans for stuff I'm going to do to the bike during this downtime. One of the issues I was having, as you guys know, winter combat, I crashed and when I got up my front wheel was, uh, the front brake was like locked up, it wouldn't roll through smoothly. We got back to the pits, we got that handled, but then we did notice that as you would roll the front tire through, it would drag like part way through the, the rotation. So we figured it was a bent rotor. So of course, uh, pulled off the, the wheel, the tire and the wheel, and I was gonna send it back to warp nine and well not send it back, but see if they could uh, sell me a rotor, of course, a front brake rotor. So I take off the tire, I look at the wheel, the wheel is mangled. I mean, mangled might be a little extreme, but definitely a very, <laughs> very uh, hearty flat spot, you know. Um, I weigh more than your average rider. Um, I'm about 220 pounds. I'd like to be a lot less, that's for sure. But I am about 220, I've been riding pretty hard. And um, I tore that front wheel up. So Warp9 actually has this program where when you buy a wheel from them, you can send it back to them for $100. They'll repair it if you need like a new hub or if you have a flat spot or whatever. So I sent my gold rims off to Warp9. Actually, I only sent the front one. And then um, they had it there and I was emailing back and forth and I was asking them about it and I'm like, you know, I have I put a flat spot in the stock Honda rim, I put flat spots in my Kawasaki rims and I blew those rims out and then I got the Tusk Impact ones and I have put flat spots in them and then I have the Warp 9 ones and I put flat spots in them, I, I put flat spots in a lot of uh, wheels. So they have their standard and their elite wheel set. So I'd gotten the standard ones, standard ones are the ones you can get anodized with different colors you know you could do purple or green or blue and of course as you guys know I did gold and um, I didn't get their elite rims which are fancier rims because they uh, only come in one color but after talking it through with warp 9 I figured the best option was to go ahead and get myself some uh, stronger rims so we're still going with warp 9 the difference is though oh. We're in two different boxes. I'm sure you guys already know where this story's going. Let me open the second one for you. Yes, we got the Warp 9 Elite Black Rim. So, that's the story with that. So this is why, these actually look super sick, why we now have black rims on old red ski. So the other thing, um, as you guys may have known from the very start, I didn't want to go black and red hubs because that's what everyone, <laughs> everyone who has a Honda, that's what they go with. And of course, as you know, even the, like the newer Hondas come with them and the race Hondas, like factory Hondas and everything. But if I had a choice, I might have went with like a magnesium hub or something, but the way they did it, they simply replaced my hoop, which was the gold part, with the elite black um, hoop. So it's still my old um, hub. They replaced the rotor, of course, since that was a thing I needed. Um, the same spokes. Maybe they're not like the identical spokes, but just silver. I didn't have the option because all I did was pay to replace the hoop. So that actually <laughs> looks super sick. Um, I'm excited for it. It's bittersweet though, you guys. I love the gold. And again, I've done YouTube long enough. I know people will be like, oh, I told you you should get those rims or um, whatever. They'll be like, you just didn't like the gold. I don't even know. But I'm going to miss the gold, but the black is going to be sweet. And there's some stronger rims. So I think they'll uh, hold up to abuse a lot better. So um, I'm inside where it's nice and warm. It's cooling down outside, but I did bring in my tires. Obviously, this is a rear tire. That was a front rim, but I have both the tires. I did get a new Michelin Starcross 5 medium for the rear, and the front is my same, whoop, even has dirt in it, same front tire because it didn't need to be replaced yet. But I'm going to go ahead and mount these up here in the apartment where it's nice and warm, and then we'll take them downstairs and uh, mount them on Old Red Ski.
it's certainly no secret that I'm not great at bike work, but we got the tires mounted. It didn't go as smoothly as I would have liked, but they're on. So now um, we got the tires all aligned. The wheels look awesome. Um, I'm still a little bittersweet, you know, they are, uh, they look like every other Honda out there, but it's all good. Um, let's raise up old Red Ski here and uh, get these actually put on the bike and I'm excited to see what it looks like. We got the wheels on there looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and just check all the spokes now because uh, when I got my last wheel set, they were a little loose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and torque them down to 55 inch pounds. Well, there we go. It's all finished up. We got the black rims on there looking real good. I hate to admit it, you guys, but um, I like this look a lot. I think it actually might look a bit better. I'm gonna miss the gold just because it was unique and everything, but um, looks really good. So I think we have a few more things that I'm gonna do to it before I ride next, but that'll be next weekend. So uh, super sick, but appreciate you guys watching. I hope you're as excited for this as I am, but uh, as always, until next time, take it easy if it's easy. Take it twice, talk to you later.